Hey y'all, welcome to Sunflower Tasha DIYs. I'm Tasha. I like to do arts, crafts, DIYs, recreations, bobble journaling, thrift, and trash lips on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy my video today. Hey y'all, welcome to project number one. This is what I'm going to be making today for this first one. And I'm using this plastic ring, but you could use this metal ring. Um, that metal ring I got at Michael's. The plastic ring came in a laundry bag from the Dollar Tree like a very long time ago. I am I used to buy them and make dream catchers with the rings. Um, and I still have a bunch of them in my stash. So I just covered the ring in some um, tan twine and then used the lighter to get off all the fuzzies. And now I'm taking this greenery that I picked up from my Savers Mart um, for 50% off. So I got it for a dollar. I actually got it for free if you think about it. Because um, I bring my stuff there. And then I shop there. And then I have money. Like, because I bring my stuff there. It's a consignment shop. <laughs> so if that makes any sense. So once I'm done um, putting all the greenery on here, I am going to use my heat tool here to try to straighten some of these flowers out. Now my dark blue um, heat tool actually um, blew up on me. <laughs> yeah, kind of scary, right? Um, so I'm using the one Another one that I had in my stash when I was with Chalk Couture. So um, until that one breaks, I'm going to use it. So I have this sign that come in a pack of a bunch of them from, um, I believe it was Target Dollar Spot, um, probably like three or four years ago. And then I'm going to tie it on to this reef here. And do that on both sides and then I will trim that down and then I will use some of the hot glue to kind of adhere those pieces so they don't come unraveled and then we'll go ahead and turn this over and then I will add two of the flowers one at the top and one at the bottom and like that and then once I get the hot glue on there, I'm going to flip it over to the back and I'm going to try to secure the flower here with this ribbon and try to get a better hold on that here. Did the other side and then added a hanger and that's it for my first project. So let's talk about today's collaboration, Talented Creators. Um, the hosts are Aria and Loli, and then they have some guest hosts this time and a co-host, Lovely Moments Created and Farmhouse Frugally. Um, you guys will have to go and check out their channels down in my description box, um, and they will be in the playlist that I will have linked to all the other crafters that joined, and we are giving you some um, projects today. So project number two, um, I'm doing this one. And, um, I also want to talk about the collaboration. Um, you can do anything as long as you make one reef, reef, wreath. And I actually am just making three reefs in my video. So I have this ring from the Dollar Tree. It's like that MDF stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the um, top and sides. And um, I just do one coat and then I do a second coat, like if it needed a coat, I guess. And here I am showing you me doing the sides of it as well. I'm using, what was that, the apple barrel paint in the blue color, the navy blue. And it's um, just a thin regular paint. 
So I have this fabric from the, I believe this one's the Dollar Tree fabric. And it has these little trucks with a bed full of greenery and daisies. <laughs> so I thought this was super cute to go with this theme today. So here I'm just ironing the wrinkles that are in the fabric from it being folded and rolled up like in those little tube looking shapes <laughs> that it comes in. And then um, I'm just adding some water here. It just kind of helps, uh, helps it, uh, yeah, get smooth. And then I'm just using some tacky glue here to adhere this. And once that's dry a little bit here, I'm using that same greenery that I showed you from the first project um, from my Savers Mart. And I tried gluing these down a few different ways here. I tried my hot glue first and then um, I left it alone for a second and then it just popped off. <laughs> and I tried the... Um, Oh, the, what you call it, the um, tacky glue. I tried it too and some hot glue and nope, it popped off too. And this is where I noticed after I trim this, these pieces away here. So it'd be a little bit easier for me. But anyways, I was like, okay, I had to think about a different way to do this. And while I was thinking about it, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and trim up the sides that way it's not so awkward and hard if I put these on anyways. So then I tried doing a needle and thread <laughs> and that did not work because the thread was too thin, which I kind of figured anyways. So then I was like, I have this navy colored twine. And then I'm just going to glue it to the fabric and the frame and then wrap a piece around and glue it and then wrap it around. Well, first I'll trim it down a little bit here, but then I'm going to go ahead and glue it to the frame and then glue that little piece around to the back. And then I will do that again wherever I need to do it used a little bit of hot glue just to hold it down for me and here we go do that again and then a little bit of glue hold it down trim it go ahead and glue that last piece around to the back okay and that's how i got this uh to stay now wherever that you could see the twine. I went ahead and added a flower. It actually ended up being more flowers than I wanted, but that's okay. Things uh, don't always turn out how we planned. <laughs> so I have this little board here from Hobby Lobby, and I'm just going around the edges with that apple barrel paint as well. And then I made two bows with that um, navy twine, um, but I decided to go ahead and stick a piece. Um, I was thinking about doing a border, um, but I ended up not doing that. I ended up just doing, <clears throat> excuse me, a piece on around the back here and just trim off those extra uh, pieces there and then I added the bows to this part but before I do that I want to trim those tails down they were a bit long and then I'll just add these now I'm like I left all the signs blank for now um, I think I'm going to leave it that way and just try to sell them and let somebody else figure out what they want to do now with this one, I decided to do some magnets on this sign. You don't have to do that if you don't want. You can just go ahead and glue it down. Um, but for some reason, I really wanted to do magnets. 
I thought it would be easier. And then um, if you didn't really want the sign on there, you could take it off and just put it on your fridge. I don't know. I was just doing blank signs for this video this time. Um, but you could actually do this any way you wanted. Maybe like a Mother's Day gift. You know, with the signs. And you could put something on there for Mother's Day. But that's it for this one, you guys. Let's go ahead and hop into my last project today. Um, and this is what it's looking like. So I have one of these beaded um, reefs from the Dollar Tree. I'm using the rest of that little um, stem here. I'm using these daisies from the Dollar Tree. I'm using this chalkboard sign from the Family Dollar Store. Um, I actually still have a Family Dollar Store and I got this for a dollar. So I'm just going to get out a little bit of white chalk paint here and I'm just going to go ahead and dab on some of this white um, chalk paint all around the entire frame. And then I took off the hanger and now I'm going to create my own hanger here with some scrap twine. And I'll just staple that down. Now what sucked about that is the staple did go through, but that's okay. You won't really see it in the end anyways. The bow kind of covers it. So with that extra um, string here, I'm just tying this to the top. And then I want to go ahead and measure that there and make sure that it's not too far down or too far up. And then I trimmed that off, which I... Wish I wouldn't have done that because I actually needed that to make the hanger, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and do this <laughs> and wrap it around and make us a little short hanger here. Okay. And then here, um, I had to try to figure out, you know, because hot glue just does not work with this plastic stuff. And then I was thinking about just hanging these down. And I kind of wished I would have hung them and then just put some flowers down at the bottom. Um, but I didn't. I ended up doing it around like this and making it all complicated, which I wished I wouldn't have done that. Like I said, I could have made this a lot faster. Just had them hanging from the bottom and put some of the flowers down at the bottom to cover like the, uh, you know, where the top of it would hang. But then I just, you know, I got this on there with some wire and then wherever the wire was, I went ahead and wrapped with some ribbon and I ended up taking these two flowers off and putting ribbon on where to hide the wire and then once I was done with putting all the flowers on I made this bow um, this ribbon I believe came from like Hobby Lobby Michael or Joann's or somewhere like that um, and then I just go ahead and duct tail both of the ends and then I'm going to tie this on as well to the very top and then that's pretty much going to complete this sign as well and like I said I went ahead and left this one blank as well that way um, if I ever want to sell it whoever could put whatever on there how whatever they wanted and I thought that would be um, a nice thing so I hope you guys enjoyed all my projects today. Um, please let me know which one was going to be your favorite. So here is the final reveal of all of them hanging up on my wall in my kitchen. Here is the first one. Let me know what you would put on this one. I was thinking mom would be really pretty on here or I love you or bloom. Um, and then what about this one? This one could be pretty much anything. You could just hang um, a little clip on that string with a note on there. I mean, there, the, there's just endless possibilities. You could use removable vinyl. 
This is a chalkboard, so you could just write some chalkboard messages on this one. Um, but yeah, let me know which one was your favorite sign today. Thanks, you guys, so much for watching. Don't forget to watch the playlist. Bye. I like to thank the host today for having me on the playlist, and thank you to all my subscribers and all your continued support here on my channel. If you are new here, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It really helps me grow on YouTube, and I appreciate all that you do when you do that. Also, if you hit that bell button, you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you again for watching Sunflower Tasha DIYs. You can follow me on Instagram on my personal account, or you can follow me on my gallery account. My personal is obviously my personal, and then my gallery is just where I post pictures of things that I have made on my YouTube channel. Once again, thank you so much for all that you do and all your continued support. Bye!